Oh, you're getting good press now. Mm. Um, could you ever imagine that? Well, three or four years ago, even before you, uh, well, before the first album, what's happening? It's hard. Yeah, it's hard to sort of draw a line back to that because uh, we had such low uh, expectations and really like minimal plans for this band. Um, they're really driven by the response to it, um, even what we put into it. So that's very. It started in a very different place than you know the band that, that's here in Amsterdam, um, and it's really exciting. But it's largely driven by the way people have reacted to our music. Mm -hmm. And what is then? What was well the first time you talked about starting a band? What did, mm -hmm. what what goal did you have? Drink Just beer. write songs. Or? Drink, yes, drink beer. Craig <laughs> Craig was like it's like you know we, he and I played together in a band called Lifter Polar and uh, dissolved in 2000, and then uh, you know he moved to New York. I moved to New York shortly after. And, so those things we were sitting around, and he's like, "We should, you know, man, we start playing, we start playing music again. At the very, very least, to give us a good excuse to get together a couple times a week and just drink beer and hang out." And uh, you know, from there, it's it's uh, it's kind of gotten away from us a little bit. It's and you know, like in the in the U.S., it's it's one thing because we definitely, you know, the success that we've had in the states has has been great, but. It's, it, we've been able to watch it, you know, grow kind of gradually as we put out records and did more touring and something like that. But coming over here, where you know we've never had a record come out or anything like that, it was just like, you know, we we flew in last night and and met with the label and they had, you know, like this press folder of stuff that had just come out in the past couple of months and it was like, it was it was it was it wasn't anything I could really even get my head around. So uh, in that sense, it's just the the the, the reaction and the response has been. It's kind of amazing. And is there for you, um, well, since so you started, let's say, drinking beer and getting together, um, has there, have there been a few moments that you thought, well, now it's getting somewhere, some turning points for you? Yeah, and turning points, I mean, just, I think it really, I mean, quite honestly, our first show, um, you know, because we had been in a band that, that had existed before, but was never very popular, but sort of got popular after we broke up. So our first show in New York, you know, our first show is the whole Steady. There were 150 people there, which is a lot for a, for a brand new band. Um, so all of a sudden, it's like, wow, people are interested in this. I think the second big one was putting out our first record and the sort of the, re the reception it got. Um, you know, I mean, I think both Rolling Stone and Spin wrote about it at the end of the year as you know one of the better records of the year and. They're just little things that, that would kind of on, on top of each other. And but is there, is there one little thing you, well, these are obviously big things, I mean, your album, but is there, there one little thing maybe, one, one song you wrote or... Uh, I don't know about one, that. One, one response you got from a... I, you know, I don't know if I could trace it to one response, but the one thing I kept thinking about when we first started and just talking to people who enjoyed the band was that there was nothing there's all these people out there that like this music, that there wasn't something there for them, and that we were filling a void of some sort, um, in that we weren't very trendy, we weren't, you know, we didn't have cool haircuts or whatever, it's just kind of good old fashioned straight rock and roll that was, that was intelligent. And it sounds strange, but that's weird right now. I mean, that's, that's not what is being offered to mu music fans. So yeah. There are a lot of people that, that, that came up to us and said they were really excited about it, the band. Yeah, we didn't set out to, to fill any gap necessarily in what was happening with music. We just happened to like, you know, try to have a good time with it. And the climate of music was in a place where it was like, wait a minute, these songs sound great. Um, so it was just, it was us trying to have a good time and being just kind of a little dumb luck in that way and doing what we, we enjoyed and what we wanted to hear. And, Turned out a bunch of other people wanted to hear it too.